New Ant-Man trailer. Great. The general consensus is that it's much better than the last, which I can totally understand. It's got more humor, more action, more Douglas, a bunch of stuff. So let's just get into some of the things that you may have missed. And as always, bear in mind that there may be spoilers, but also bear in mind that a lot of this is pure speculation. Two things you need to bear in mind. Two things. First off, let's take a look at Hank Pym. From the last trailer, it wasn't made entirely clear, but it appears as if he still plays some part in Pym Industries, just a minor one. A couple of times he's seen standing back with the man who will become Yellow Jacket lapping up all the praise with this picture of young Hank Pym reminding us of his glory days. This location here, like we saw in the last teaser, still looks to be some kind of flashback because not only does it look like a kind of retro world, but also because we don't actually see Ant-Man. I think this might be an opening or early sequence where we see the trail of destruction that Ant-Man can leave, as opposed to all the close-up shots we'll see later. Maybe this has a young Hank Pym completing some kind of mission for S.H.I.E.L.D. if the appearance of both Howard Stark and Peggy Carter end up panning out. With Hank Pym saying that he's enlisting Scott Lang's help in order to steal something, it's most likely Pym particles and not his old Ant-Man suit. Not only because it's said later in the trailer that he's been hiding his suit from Pym Industries, but also because we see it. Right there. Moving on to Yellow Jacket, the villain. This here is possibly where the suit is kept. We see it later and it looks to be encased in the same circular chamber. This suit appears to have taken some cues from the Eric O'Grady Ant-Man costume. His suit also has two arms that extend out from the back that can be used for both flight and shooting stuff. This bit I find interesting. It looks as if Scott Lang is controlling or willing these ants into spinning a coin. Except weirdly, he's not wearing the Ant-Man helmet. Now in the comics, it's that helmet that allows basic communication with insects. So maybe in this film, it's not the helmet that's required to do that. Or maybe Michael Douglas is sitting next to him with the helmet on, doing it for him. It's a bloody mystery, mate! Also, I did some ant-related research, which is something I never thought I'd catch myself doing. And I think these are Argentine ants. And basically, they just get along real well. Meaning these would be the perfect ants to make do stuff for you. These reddish looking ones could be fire ants. These things are capable of injecting a poison that burns like fire, and they have been known to kill small animals. So remember that kid you knew when you were little that liked to burn things and hurt small creatures? Yeah, these are that kid, except there are thousands of them. Now that's about all I caught from this one, but this movie looks really good. Hopefully an awesome way to wrap up Marvel's phase three. And again, there are still a lot of things that we don't know. For example, will we see Ant-Man go giant? Maybe that's the skill that sets him apart from Yellow Jacket. Also, what's that? Is it important? Or is it just one of those crystal rock lights? Those are no good. Be a real light or get out of here. But if you liked this video, I've actually done a bunch of these trailer breakdowns. I'll put the playlist of which at the end of this video, along with my podcast, The Weekly Planet. It looks at movies and comics and TV shows, and it comes courtesy of the terrific comicbookmovie.com. That will also be linked below. But what did you think of the new Ant-Man trailer? And if there is anything I missed, like for example, you know what this is, please feel free to add that in the comments below. All right. Thanks everyone. Take care.